see here hi friends i am shiva in this session we will learn explicit cursor attributes in my previous class we will learn explicit cursor life cycle in that life cycle how to declare a cursor how to open the cursor how to fetch the data from the cursor to store a values into p values into pdsql variables then how to close how to close the cursor we will learn these things in my previous class now in this session we will learn expli explicit cursor attributes these are the attributes first one is percentage not found percentage found percentage row count percentage is open these are the explicit cursor attributes so let's we go go for the first one is percentage not found so this is the syntax cursor name and percentage not found so see uh, when we are using this percentage not found for example this is a cursor for example this is a cursor c1 in that this is a cursor area in that in that cursor area we have some records correct if you have any records any records will found by using percentage not found then it will be written false if any records will be found from the cursor memory area then by using percentage not found then it will be written a false and for example in that cursor memory area in that cursor memory area we did not found any records by using percentage not found then it will be written a true so this is the main key concept by using the percentage not found as a practically we will learn for that so see you can observe on the program example for percentage not found okay now see in the declare session i declare some cursor here then uh, i declare some very pdsql variables i'm um, once i'm repeating here this is a cursor declaration in the cursor declaration internally what will happen internally what will happen some memory will be allocated to for the cursor memory for the cursor so this is a this one is a c1 cursor area this one is a cursor c1 and reserve the memory up to 2 mb data up to 2 mb data will be reserved the memory but data will not getting at this stage while we while we are declaring the cursor in this stage reserve the memory up to 2 mb at the place of the cursor area this is a cursor area cursor memory area so when the data will be getting to cursor memory area means when you are open the cursor so when you are writing the statements then internally what will happen go to here in this stage see in this state when your data will be getting go to here this uh, declare session this one this is the sql query this sql query will be executed e name shall and department from emp1 the where condition where department number equal to 10 so by using this query whatever the data will be getting the data will be storing into in this this is a in this cursor memory area correct so when you are open this cursor c1 this will be happen when you open the cursor go to this declare session of the plsql then the first sir, first uh, sql statement will be execute whatever the data will be getting by executing this query the data will be storing into in this cursor memory area with name of c1 that c1 name is this this is the internal level happen in the c1 name so this is a c1 name so while what are the query we are executed in this sql query the same data here display 
okay now what will happen this here in the cursor we have some pointer the pointer will be point the first record in the cursor okay so now so my task is by using this percentage not found i want to display this entire the records in the plsql environments that is my task so that i am using percentage not found so now uh, now you can check here so i open the cursor the data will be now you open the cursor now data will be getting to in cursor memory area when you are declaring the cursor now reserve the memory in cursor area but data will not not coming not coming now when you are open the cursor now data will be getting to in cursor memory area by executing this sql statement sql query now i am open the now i am using loop loop here in that loop i am using the fetch statement in the fetch statement is using fetch the fetch the data from the cursor memory area then storing into in this plsql variables how will be fetching we will learn as a practical so now see here i am using the fetch statement in that fetch statement where we want to fetching the data so c1 in the c1 cursor area this is a c1 in that c1 cursor area cursor memory in that c1 cursor memory we have some data in that c1 cursor area we have some data here 1 2 3 rows we have i want to retrieve the data i want to fetch this data and storing into in this plsql variables the internally what will happen when the data will be getting to in this c1 cursor area the here one here the cursor area we have one pointer the pointer will be pointing to first record okay when you are using this fetch statement go to this c1 cursor area in that cursor area first record the pointer will be pointing the first record the first record will be retrieving and storing into p underscore e name plsql variable either another column we have so this is the suitable the thousand value this thousand suitable value will be storing into p underscore e name the same time here also department number the department number we have the hundred uh, we have the tenth value the tenth department that department value also coming to here storing into p underscore department number 10 department number the value will be storing into in this plsql variable okay this is the first record will be fetched from the cursor memory area the next record now the pointer again automatically pointing to the second record here okay now so now here checking exit when you want to exit from this cursor you have to observe this exit when c1 percentage is not found not found in the says we already in the cursor memory area we have some record we already find the uh, found and the values are storing into uh, in this plsql variables so in this condition is false already data data is available on the cursor memory area so that condition is false the even the the loop will be repeat till condition is true so now the now in now here fetching the second record the already the point the pointer will be pointing to second record correct in that second record what will happen now the fetch still the fetch statement this fetch statement again la loop loop will be repeating see here e name the now pointer will be pointing to second record correct this the e name value will be storing into p underscore e name shall value will be storing into p underscore shall this department department number department number the value will be 10 value will be storing into p underscore department number okay so now condition will be checking the exit when c1 percentage is not found okay already data we already fetched the data from the cursor memory area so so that this condition also false so now here also we have pointer correct the pointer the pointer will be pointing to third record automatically the pointer will be pointing to third record 
So now the evil loop will be repeating. Now fetch statement is using fetch the data where where we want to fetching the data in cursor C1. In the cursor C1, we are pointing in third record right now. In the third record, we are fetching this Miller value. This Miller value will be storing into this. Now, thousand value, this Miller thousand salary value will be storing into P underscore char. Now, this tenth department number 10, the 10 value will be storing into P underscore department number 10. Okay. So now, so then what will happen now checking this condition exit when C1 percent is not found. So this one also condition is false because we already found the record in the cursor memory area. Correct. Now again here pointer the pointer will be pointing to fourth record here. Correct. See the pointer now previously we are pointing to third record. Now when you are fetched the record of thought the automatically pointing to fourth record but in that fourth record is available on the cursor memory area no we have three records one two three but there is no fourth record the how the how the data will be fetching from the cursor memory area there is no record so the moment will have what will happen now checking here now fetch the pointer will be pointing to fourth record but there is no record of your fourth record. So then what will happen? Now checking this condition. Exit when percent when C1 percent is not found. In the cursor memory area, we don't have the fourth record. So this condition is true. So then exit from the loop. From exit from the loop. Then here, whatever the third records we already fetched, correct? P underscore E name, P underscore char. P underscore department number. This record, first, second, third, these three records are displayed on the PLSQL environments while we are executing this program. Then end here used end and end the loop. Already open this cursor. Now you can close the cursor. When the condition is true, then only loop will be end, then only cursor will be closed. When the cursor will be closed, Cursor when you are when you are close the cursor this memory in the previously where while we are declaring the cursor in the initially 2 MB data will 2 MB memory will be reserved for cursor memory area but the, this 2 MB data up to 2 MB data will be reserved to cursor memory area now this memory will be deallocate by using close C1 then our program will be end. So C has a practically by using by using the same program by using the same program the these three records will be getting or not in the PLSQL environment we will observe for that okay see here simply copy this program and go to all our environment see here paste the clerk thousand and tenth department king thousand tenth department miller thousand thousand salary and tenth department these three records are displayed or not by using this this multiple rows are displayed or not by using percentage not found okay this is a uh, one of the attributes used in the explicit cursor attribute see here so in the next session we will learn how to use the percentage not found by using this percentage not found what are the syntax we should follow oh, where we have to use in the PLSQL programs we will learn in the next session okay if you like my videos please share my if you like my videos please share my videos comments on that and Subscribe my channels.